So today we have a new update for Blue Archive and here we have the patch notes. All I can really say about this patch is that it is a... Uh... It is really freaking long and so I'm not going to cover all of it, I'm just going to cover some of the key important parts because I guess, how do I say this, some of it is really open to interpretation. Hi, welcome back to another Blue Archive video, my name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the new patch updates where we have the new students as well as the new raid and new chapters, new gear, uh, there's a lot of new stuff. And so there really is not much left to introduce and so let's just jump right into the content. So starting off with the new student Midori at 3 stars. So Midori, the three star, she is one of the twins. The other twin is down here and her name is Momoi, two star. And so essentially these two students are going to be fantastic for the raid that has just released. And so if you have not prepared for the raid, don't despair. It is a yellow raid. You guys could roll on this banner if you wanted to. These two perform very, very well in the raid. But yeah, we've got their new banners up. So again, three star Midori and then two star on Momoi. And with that being said, let's move on. So as you can see here, the twins, they'll be very, very important in this raid. So I don't know if you should go to pity for them or something like uh, don't take it from me because I went to pity for Izuna because Izuna was cute But now my stash is literally non-existent and I can't guarantee Azusa or like uh, summer Azusa and stuff like that If you are meta chasing, I would say if you're willing to swipe then obviously you go swipe but I would probably pass on this one in favor of like some of the other upcoming units but if you like these characters if you do like their designs never let anyone tell you to not roll for them so let's move on all right so the next thing I do want to talk about is uh, this guy over here so we've got Chesed the field warfare open for the total assault and so again defense type is heavy armor and so this means that you're going to be breaking out your Nonami your Iori and again your Midori as well as your Momo we are going to be doing a lot of work for this guy here. Other characters that perform well on this raid are like Junko, Sumire, uh, Hasumi, Tsurugi. You've also got like Neru and Hifumi, but yeah, heavy armor, yellow type, essentially, you're going to be able to bring the damage there. All right, and so that is our raid event in a nutshell. It is very, very much similar to the other ones. So we've gotten like the standard or beginner all the way up to hardcore. And then I don't know if you guys have actually noticed this, but the different servers have different types of rankings. So for example, I'm on Asia server. And so because our population is so great, the, how do I say this? We in the Asia server, we're being allocated more spots. So as you can see, platinum one to 10,000 is going to get platinum. And then if I have a look down here, NA is one to 5,000 and then one to 2,000 for global. And so this is just kind of like indicative or representative more on like the uh, server populations for each of them. At this point, especially according to something like this, Asia server has the highest population. And so it just scales like that. It does not really mean that Asia server, it's easier or harder to get the platinum. Although some might argue like, uh, in terms of the economics or the try hardness of each server, Asia might be easier. But yeah, of course, that is just something to think about. But rewards, these are pretty much the same as what we have been getting since last time. And so here is the table for the total assault coins as we complete them each day, hardcore times 100. Again, nothing has changed. However, what has changed is the uh, is the shop here. And so as you guys can see, we now have Hanae's LFs available from the total assault shop. This is pretty good. Hanae is quite good, but I I would still be buying out the Maki shards because Maki is like so so freaking important. Yes, Maki is a yellow attacker. However, she really thrives in Bina, which was the first raid that we did have. And unfortunately, she won't see too much use in Chesed, which we are getting now. However, again, Maki is going to be top tier for Bina when he does come back. So I do buy that out. As for the rest of the shop, and I just realized I've never really talked about priority, but I do believe that the top priority is going to be the blue rays for uh, what is that? faction called. It's like the seemingly darker one, a uh, Gehenna. Gehenna faction. So all I can really say is that it's never really a bad idea to get the Blu-ray discs so these upgrade your EX skills for the Gehenna faction because you've just got so many of the top tier units from that faction like you got the Iori, the Aru, etc. And in terms of the secret tech sheet over here like this total assault comes back it's, I think it's twice a month so we really are not in a shortage for this guy here. And if you guys don't know what the secret tech sheet does it is for I believe leveling from 9 to 10 for your skill levels or the final level, something like that. All right, and so moving on, let's have a look. We got the renewal cycle. So this is just like with the purchase limits resetting so I can get my Maki's again. And so again, Maki's LF, I do believe we get what, like 50 of these, which is not bad at all. All right, and so moving on, we've got a main story update. All right, here we go, here we go. Clockwork, flower, pavane. Okay, it's kind of whatever, dude. I, 
<laughs> I tried my best, right, guys? Anyway, essentially, we are just going to be getting more story over here. But on top of that, we will also be getting more of these updates. And what I mean by more of these updates is, sorry, the area updates. So essentially, we are going to be getting area 13 in which we are going to be going to a theme park. Okay, why Why am I surprised? Like <laughs> This happens all the time in pre-con. Anyway, so what we have here is a whole bunch of new stages and a whole bunch of new drops. So by new drops, I mean T5 equipment. And so just quickly on equipment, I don't know about you guys, but I've been able to clear all content so far. So I've been able to clear hardcore mode for the last one, as well as that very hard challenge mode, whatever it was in Izuna's event, like the very last stage. So I have been able to clear those events at a level about 45 or 47 with only like three pieces of T4 gear. And so for you guys who are like, oh man, I feel like I'm missing out. Oh man, T5 gear, I, my progression is so slow. To that, I would say don't worry too much about it because like if you are able to get to at least about T4 or maybe like a few pieces of T4, T5, you will be fine. And so as you can see, we've got the recommended levels over here. Honestly, I've only finished up to like main stage, maybe 11. But here we've got the bulletproof helmet we've got the tactical gloves and boots so essentially we're going to be getting the extra attack percentage as well as the crit damage and crit percentage other than that we've got the first clear sweet sweet jemmy's pyro scene pyro scene pyro scene oh baby and another 200 pyro scene for the 15 stars and then on the other hand we do have the new hard mode which is going to get us the haruka elves the mutsuki and the izumi oh man this is quite good, but yeah, to be honest, these hard stages, hard stages, I just think are such good value. Because I don't know about you guys, but the drop rates of equipments and stuff, it's freaking dog water, man. And so just having more hard stages to farm is always a treat. All right, and so moving forward, I believe I actually skipped something over here. So game development department. I do believe that this is a new sub story. So yeah, sub story update. And so it's just some nice cutscenes and stuff, episodes that we can watch. To me, what I see is, Jemmys, aka my other so fun because I freaking sparked Izna. Anyway, moving on. All right, and so here we have daily quests with the game development department. So here we're going to be getting even more Jemmys. Like seriously, so many people are like trash talking Nexon, but I'm here like thinking, is this really the Nexon that we know? And the answer is obvious. Like they did make the commitment to try be a better Nexon. Anyway, so have a look at this, how to participate, tap the lobby, tap the daily quest icon. I will show you guys that maybe we'll see. And essentially this is kind of like a whole bunch of more dailies like dailies plus let's put it that way and there are a lot of really really great rewards so let me just quickly scan through this so acquire 100 game magazines is probably the best one we get a full fat 10 pull or however many refreshes that is but not only that we're actually also going to be getting a lot of skill materials for the millennium faction so as you can see over here tech nodes we've got the blu-ray for the ex skills etc and then even more mats the nebra sky disc the nimrod lens etc etc we got the superior activity report that's probably like one of the biggest things from this entire event or even all of the events because although there is a 2x event going on right now where you can farm the exp stage for two times the rewards unless you are able to actually do the h which is the last stage it's i would say it's actually not overly worth it but what that does mean is that you have to pace yourself with your exp books you can't just spam them on like 30 characters <laughs> you have to spam them on 20. Because to be honest, this game is so thirsty for EXP books, like holy moly. Anyway, this bad boy, this daily plus, I like to call it daily plus, is freaking awesome. So look forward to it, my guys. I mean, you don't have to look forward to it because it's already in the game. Anyway, let's have a look at the T5 equipment. And so as you can see, this is actually freaking massive. So 27 to 30% attack and then 900 to 1.2K crit damage. And then on top of that, we've got the gloves giving something also cracked. It's all all really freaking cracked and uh, like I think it's something that I realized really recently like why I'm getting freaking stomped in PvP because a lot of the people have actually farmed up all of these gears up to the T4 and I am just this pleb using T1 and T2 gear so yeah just by like looking at the raw stats of this like when I hit T4 like suddenly the world was my oyster granted I've only got like a T4 helmet on two characters but it really did make a difference guys so if you haven't pushed I probably would recommend it all right and so moving on the event and we've got a main story update celebration, another 10 pull. Oh my God, I love it. I freaking love you, Nexon. Like, I did not think I would ever say those words, like coming from freaking Maple Story, coming from Mabinogi, coming from other Nexon games that I probably don't really want to talk about. Maple Story 2 that got freaking wrecked. Nexon really do be making it rain here. And so, 
you got to give credit where it's due. All right, so again, another temple. Moving on, we've got another ATAP. So I did see some analysis on like Reddit or something where people were expressing concerns about, oh, if you don't refresh, where well, you're never going to be able to clear the event shop, stuff like that. I think all of these like daily AP has been really helping, especially because we are on an accelerated pace. And so in my opinion, they are really doing things right here, like with the acceleration, but not only the acceleration, that they're also giving us the jemmies to kind of make up for it as well as the AP. And then moving on from that, we've got the bounty and commissions two times campaign. Oh baby, here we go. Big bless, big freaking bless. So clear bounty and commissions. Bounty, I believe is like where you fight those ranges and then commissions is where you get the EXP or the money uh, or vice versa. Essentially, all of our rewards are gonna be doubled. And so if you do have the monthlies or like both of the monthlies, it's gonna be like make it rain kind of situation. But again, as for the commissions or whichever the EXP stage one is, I still probably would not recommend this. However, seeing this guy over here, it's like the start of the cycle. So I believe it's like after every raid, we're going to get like two times this. And then we're going to get like a, a de dead week if we don't accelerate. And then we'll get like two times hard mode. And it's again, it's very, very similar to pre-con or a lot of the other games where it's going on a cycle. And so here is the start of that cycle. All right. And so we are almost at the end of it, actually. So here are just a whole bunch of these bugs and improvements. Honestly, I am very, very glad to see a lot of this. Because for me, one of the biggest ones was this one. Improvements made so entering the game up to the lobby takes 20 to 30% less time. Because I don't know about you guys, but before this patch, I could actually hit the blue archive icon on my emulator on my phone. I could then set like the trilogy of Lord of the Rings and then watch it and then come back to my phone and then I'd finally be in game. And so hopefully with this change, I can watch up to Lord of the Rings 2 Twin Towers and still get into the game after that. And so the other one that I do see that I really like is the intermittent FPS drops. I don't know about you guys, but I have been getting that quite a fair bit. But the one that everyone's going to notice is this last one over here, which is, um, it sounds really, really bad on paper. Let me put it that way. New characters acquired after the 12-14 Tuesday maintenance will now receive the new hired gift, Hyrocene 1200 through mail. And so how I interpreted this was like, wait, every time you get a new character, so if you re-rolled, you would get 1200 jemmies for it. That honestly sounded really, really freaking insane. However, in practice, you know what? Let's let's freaking go try it now. In practice, apparently, I think it's like when you do the first 10 roll, you will get 1200 back, which is it's kind of like a 100% rebate. And so let's actually go ahead and give that a shot on the Midori and Momoi banner. All right, here we go. I'm going to drop a tenner on it. I'm not really keen on either of them because again, I got to save up for the ultimate Azusa. I freaking love Azusa. And so I'm just going to drop this 10 pull. And then after we see what we get, hopefully we will have something in the mail, like 1200 gems something like that. Let's hit confirm and see how we go. Am I going to be lucky? I am not going to be lucky. All right. I'm not going to be lucky. That looks like a, that looks like a blue bag to me. All right. Let's see what we get. And we get two new two stars. No, we don't. We get two two stars. Let's see if we get new two stars though. I'm really just fishing mo for uh, Momoi because at least Momoi is really, really strong for this raid. Midori really is great, but again, like there are certainly higher priority units. So let's see what we get. Jury, we've got Asuna next. And then here we go. Hopefully it's, all right. It's Akari, no, Akari, cool, Akari, cool. Uh, we've got Pina next, and then we've got... Okay, very nice. We've got Momoi. So for me, I am certainly going to stop rolling here because I've got the pickup or the two-star pickup, and that is good enough for me. So from here, let me hit confirm, and then let's get out of here. I'm going to have a look in my mailbox or go home and have a look, and there is no rebate. Huh? What? What? What the heck? What does that even mean? Like, what did the patch notes mean, man? Like, I got a new character for starters. I got Momoi, which I could not have had before this patch. I'm going to go into tasks. I don't think it's going to be here. So what exactly do those patch notes mean, man? Like, what do they mean? Wait a second. New accounts created after 1214 maintenance will receive the new hired gift. Wait, wait, am I tripping? Am I actually tripping or was that always there? That, I... That, I swear, I swear that it was not saying that before. Okay, so it looks like we don't get a rebate. 
I am never pulling again on banners that I don't care about. Gotta say for the Aza site, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that is the end. So it looks like new accounts created after this maintenance will receive this. So that probably makes up kind of for the pre-registration rewards considering they're probably expired by now. But with that being said, I think that brings us to the end of the video. And so look at that. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that teardown of these patch notes. Honestly, a lot of exciting stuff. It is packed with updates. I am I am quite keen to start playing. And so it's here where I want to pass off the question to you guys. Are you guys hyped for this freaking update? And honestly, I do want to know if you guys are looking for any of these like guides for Chesed or for Total Assault, if you guys are interested in seeing what I am doing for raids. I 100% admit that I am not the best player at Blue Archive. I am, I am certainly far from it. But if you are interested in any raid content, then do let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, let me know how you guys are feeling about this update honestly i am pretty stoked like there is so much going on like i actually feel like i just don't have enough ap all the time maybe it's because i can just skip everything who knows either way please leave your thoughts down in the comments below whether it be more raid content or like hype for the patch notes and if you do end up doing so then thank you guys so much because it means you've made it all the way up to the end of the video if you did like this video please consider liking it and if you do want to see more of me then please consider a subscribe but otherwise as your girl momoi once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye